Okay, just gotta get some stuff done quickly. Today is Pokemon Day too. As it says, Pokemon Day commemorates the launch of the wildly successful franchise Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green were released in Japan on February 27th, 1996. Apparently the company released a couple of things here, like for the day. Apparently you can watch the movie for free on the site. They had things like a Snapchat lens and there was something about a Pikachu chat for the Alexa, so I thought I'd try it for anyone else who doesn't actually have it. Alexa. Ask Pikachu to talk. What? Pikachu will leave if you don't speak to it for a while. Sing happy birthday. Pika, Pikachu. <laughs> Say pizza. Pika, 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 Pika. Tell me a funny story. Okay, I totally understood that. <laughs> Use Thunderbolt. <laughs> Pikachu will leave if you don't speak to it for a while. Cal, that took a long time. Funny enough, in terms of renewing things like the driver's license, I actually didn't even drive the car once last year. I've been mostly using it just as a form of ID. I've actually never purchased like a vehicle and stuff because I never actually found the need to use it every single day. So it always made me wonder if it's worth it financially, especially when you go to like say, the busy downtown area, there's no parking. So it just made more sense for me to take the transit and walk most of the time. My driving skills are probably super horrible right now. I actually was thinking about that. If I should do something like that, like just practice driving kind of every day kind of thing, just like what I do with the drones. But then how do you do that to justify the cost of say renting a car or buying a car just for that? Like no way. I know it holds me back just from going to a lot of places just in general. For example, if I think I can go up to the mountains or something like right now, I couldn't do it right now because time wise, it wouldn't make sense to take the transit and stuff. But just in terms of things like the cost and financial stuff, right now it just makes more sense not to actually have one. Because how much do you pay for insurance? Like a couple of hundred, then you have the like gas and everything like that, have to worry about it. So not until it makes more sense financially in life to have something like that. I'm still waiting for the day. Cards will just be automated. You just hop in, pay your ticket or whatever, let's go. Although I would prefer the flying taxi drones. Just hop in there, let's go, <laughs> done. At the same time, I do it anyways, like I walk all the time, but that way it kind of forces you to be physically active too. So in the other sense of saving money and stuff, I know a lot of people usually buy things like a gym membership, but for me, I walk all the time too. So that basically is a form of exercise as well by not having things like the car. It's that dog let it loose right on the snow. Speaking of drones, I read this today, it kind of made me wonder with things like again the hysteria with the tech, whether or not it's all in their heads just based on what they see in the media. Or maybe it's true, but who knows. It says here, drone hovers sunbathing mother and daughter in Auckland backyard. So according to this story, there was a mother and a daughter, I believe they were getting changed and sunbathing in the back. And then all of a sudden they see this drone hovering in the air for a long time. So the natural reaction is, oh no, it's capturing me, for example. Like that's basically what the narrative is it seems. It says, it is just creepy as you don't know what the purpose may be. We are worried now. When I come around to my mom's house, we spend a lot of time outside and we don't know if a drone will be there. This is kind of relevant for later on my thoughts. It says the drone appeared at 7.30 p.m. 
Neighbors across the road and from further down the street discussed their own encounters with the same drone. It kept going low into people's properties, creeping down driveways. It stayed around the street and above 10 ms above the houses for another 30 minutes, then disappeared to a few streets away where it seemed to have landed. And then according to this anyways, it says the drone returned again a few days ago and was watching Ray in her bikini. She only realized when the neighbor came over from across the street and told her there was a drone above her. Now the interesting thing about this story, because I often say if there's a drone spying on you like right in front of your face, why don't you just take a video of it as proof? And that's apparently what happened here. Apparently the person took out their phone or something like that, they took a video and they started commenting on it saying like, that, look at that drone, it's there, what's it doing? Again, they think it's spying on them in general. Now it says they contacted the police about it and one of the debates here is they said it's a private area in general so you shouldn't be allowed to fly your drone and film in those areas without permission. At the same time it says with the police if people suspected that their drone were being flown above their homes with criminal intent they should contact the police immediately. If the drone operation causes a safety risk to a person's, person's property or other aircraft potentially breaching the rules, police will respond and take all details for forwarding to the CAA. That's an important point too because there's a difference between someone flying a drone, let's just say here for example, and they're just capturing the sunset or something like that, versus someone that's using it to like specifically come right up to you and spy on you for whatever reason. It's a huge difference which I think people need to kind of differentiate as well. While people shouldn't be using drones to quote snoop on people or spy on them like this in private places, I was looking at the video and for me it's kind of hard to tell whether or not that drone was specifically aiming at them because I was looking at it and it seemed like the flyer he was kind of going like jerking left and right. It looked like he was trying to get the perfect shot for like the sunset or something like that because in general it looked like it was a Mavic Pro and if the thing is that high I think they're gonna look like a little dot especially with the time the lighting is pretty bad so I don't know to me it just kind of sounds kind of weird if they're actually trying to target them which is highly unlikely I would say personally. Is there actually a lot of light during that time still? I believe it's in New Zealand, like what the story is. Because again, I would assume if they're trying to spy on people, you'd go there when there's a lot of daylight. Because I don't think people realize too, again with the drones, you can't get a very good shot of people when you're that high up in the air, plus of how horrible the low light performance is on things like the Mavic. For me, the other thing to think about too, just like here in Canada, when they came out with those interim rules saying, phone 911 if you see a drone, like in general, just like in certain areas, even if it's in a dead park or something like that, like that's just getting to the point where if you keep reporting every single thing thinking it's doing something wrong or something like that, then you're just basically clogging up the whole system in my opinion. And basically, the only people that basically suffer honestly are all the innocent people. Jeez, talk about seeing dots in the sky when I fly, like where did all these birds come from? Jeez. Yeah, I just landed it because I was like, what's going on? Why are they circling all around here? It looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I've never had an aggressive bird yet with all the drone capturing that I've done. Maybe that's a good thing. Most of them have been just cool shots of them passing right through the lens and all that. I got some of that here, but again, it seems like there were so many grouped up there for some reason. <laughs> that was it? Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I caught something by accident. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah you do. Oh, the dog definitely marks his territory there. <laughs>
Anyways, see you guys later.